Hi, it's Allie from Inspiralized, and today we're in my kitchen and we are making my vegan burrito bowls with spiralized peppers and onions. If you've never spiralized a pepper and onion before, prepare to be wowed. It's an easy way to prepare these classic veggies. And for this burrito bowl, we have all the good Mexican flavors in there. We got all the fixins. It's one of my favorite weeknight meals to make because it's so easy and it saves well so you can have those leftovers for lunch the next day. So we're gonna start by prepping our peppers and onions for the spiralizer. For the onion, we're already prepped. All we need to do is slice the ends off and then we just need to peel the skin off of the onion because it is not edible. The bell peppers are a little more um, interesting. So what I like to do, take a step before I start spiralizing, I cut out the top of the bell pepper and I pull it out and I pat the seeds out in a garbage can or a sink so that when you're spiralizing, you don't get a big seedy mess. So I'm gonna set aside this cutting board here. And when you spiralize, you wanna just put a plate down so it can catch all of the noodles. This is an in-spiralizer, so I'm gonna show you how to use this. First, you wanna make sure that you are perfectly suctioned to the countertop. So you're gonna take these side levers, place them down so your suction's good. Put that plate right up to the spiralizer, and then your next step is selecting your blade. So for these peppers and onions, we're gonna use blade A. I'm gonna take this green knob on the side, switch until I'm set to blade A, and now we're ready to go. So I'm gonna start with the green bell pepper, which we prepped before, so it shouldn't be as messy as the red pepper is gonna be. So I'm just gonna center the pepper right on the spiralizer as best you can. Hold it while you push that back handle in. Give it a little jiggle so it's nice and firm. Make sure it's center. And then you're gonna grasp this back handle, and then you're just gonna turn. And you wanna use light to medium pressure on this because you don't want the bell pepper to break. But as you can see, it is perfectly slicing a bell pepper and you know I would challenge the best of chefs to get a slice that consistently even and it's fun because you get these really long noodles and then when you're making the burrito bowl the consistency is just much better than a chopped slice bell pepper and that's pretty much it those are the green and red bell peppers so our next thing we need to spiralize is a red onion which is my favorite and I think that if red onions or any type of onions make you cry, they do not make you cry when you spiralize them. Now that we have our peppers and onions ready to go, we're just gonna set a large skillet over medium high heat, more on the high side. So now that I'm heating that up, I'm just gonna add in about a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half of olive oil. And once it's shimmering, we're gonna add in the peppers and onions. All right, and now I'm going to season them with some salt and pepper. All right, so the key to making these really flavorful for that burrito bowl are the spices. We're gonna start with some chili powder, and next we have some dried oregano, and lastly we have some garlic powder. Now you could use fresh garlic as well. I think this is quicker, especially on those busy weeknights. Okay, and then you just wanna grab some pasta tongs and toss. And I'm just gonna keep tossing these until I think they're all coated. All right, now I'm gonna let this cook while I go assemble the burrito bowls. So we're gonna start by making the pico de gallo. We have some chopped white onion, and then we have a minced jalapeno. We have some chopped tomatoes, and we have some chopped cilantro. And then we have a lime that has been juiced. And then of course, some good old fashioned salt and pepper. And once everything's in there, you just give it a nice good toss. And now the fun part is assembling the bowls. I like to make them very pretty so I can put them on Instagram, and you might wanna do the same. So we'll start with our base, which is some pre-cooked quinoa. And then we're going to add in our canned beans. Now this is just canned beans, and I drained and rinsed them. And then of course our pico de gallo. I'm just gonna make a little bit room for the star of this meal, which is those spiralized peppers and onions. And once you have your peppers and onions in there, the final step, which is everyone's favorite, is avocado. And that is it. Those are my vegan burrito bowls with spiralized peppers and onions. The peppers and onions are perfectly seasoned and they give the dish a warm, savory feel. I love the pico de gallo. It gives it a little bit of tartness. The black beans and quinoa are nice and hearty and give you that protein that you need. So I hope you love this recipe and I hope you're amazed by spiralized peppers and onions. For more recipes like these, you can check out Inspiralize.com.